Hi everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with some quick tips for sniping in Halo 4. Sniping can be one of the most exciting and rewarding ways to approach the game. It can be one of the most effective ways to take your opponents out, but it can be a little daunting if you're not sure what to do or how to approach it. So I'm going to give you some quick tips and tricks here. The first method I will show you is the body shot method. If you get two body shots on your opponents, that's a kill. I do that back to back here. Uh, I don't miss any shots, which is great. You should be pretty happy if you're not missing any of your shots. However, that's not the most effective way to use your ammunition, of course, because you've used two rounds for a single kill. Ideally, you want that headshot, but when you can't get the headshot the first time around, you can still clean them up with the headshot from a different weapon with less valuable ammunition, like I do right here. I line up the sniper, I get the quick body shot, and then I'm able to switch to my secondary weapon and finish him off with a DMR before he even has a chance to strike, okay? I'm going to show you a couple more times where I do that. Uh, this is a very effective way to conserve your sniper ammunition, but get very quick and easy kills, okay? So here, I just line up that body shot nice and easy, and then I'm able to finish him off with the DMR headshot. I still have lots of shields left, and my opponent is busy respawning, okay? The other thing you want to do is keep an eye on your radar. Uh, try to identify where your opponents are and where they're going to be approaching from. This, that's what I do right here. And so I'm able to uh, uh, line up the shot before my opponent comes into view. I barely missed that, that headshot with the sniper, but I still am able to clean him up with the DMR. Now, ideally, if you can get that, that headshot with the sniper the first time around, that's a one-shot kill, baby. That's what you want to go for. Uh, but that's not always easy to do. You can't do it every time. So if possible, if you have that precision weapon as your secondary weapon, pull it out, finish them off with the, uh, the headshot. You can see that I'm able to get a multi-kill right here because I've been conserving my sniper rounds throughout the game. When you have those power weapons like the sniper, you want to uh, conserve your ammunition when possible. Now sometimes you may not have a clear view of your opponents. That doesn't mean you can't take and make a really good headshot. So you'll see that I do that right here. I kill this guy with the energy sword, swipe the sniper rifle off the ground, and I'm able to line up some shots using the little tags above my opponent's head. I've got this beam of light in my way. I can't see anything. It doesn't stop me today. Back-to-back uh, -back headshots here with the sniper rifle for a couple really easy kills. And then I'm able to uh, finish off this guy with my sword. He was coming back looking for his sniper. I didn't want to give it back. Um, the other thing you want to do is anticipate where your opponents are going to be. So if there's a, a tunnel or a corner where you think your opponents are going to be coming through, just line up the shot before you even see them. And then you're going to be able to pick them off with a headshot like I do right here. That guy didn't even see it coming. He didn't even know what happened because the second his head came into view, I took him down. And that's great anticipation. That's effective sniping. Here I'm going to use the peak method where I line up the shot, I come out from cover, and then I take the shot. Okay, so you, you can slide back and forth between cover. This is a very effective method when you're playing team snipers. You don't want to get sniped by your opponents. So you can slide back and forth between cover, line up the shot behind cover, come out and take the shot. Snipers are also very effective against vehicles. For those of you who aren't aware, they can take vehicles down very, very quickly. I'm going to have a few clips here of me sniping down vehicles. The first is a Banshee. Uh, my teammates uh, team shoot it a little bit, weaken the, the vehicle. It's uh, smoking and flaming. Single sniper headshot finishes the deal. Uh, you don't need to have it fl uh, on fire for it to be effective. You'll see in the next clip uh, the, the, the Banshee has basically full health. I put two sniper rounds into it, and all of a sudden it's smoking just like that. My teammates are able to finish the job very easily, okay? So just a couple sniper rounds can go a really long way against vehicles, and it's not just Banshees. It's other vehicles as well, like the Warthog. You'll see right here... Uh, basically, I get a triple kill on this Warthog with a single sniper shot. Uh, look, at, I think that was six, maybe seven medals with that single sniper shot along with the triple kill. Okay, the sniper can be a very effective, very efficient way to score a lot of points. Look, I got an ordnance drop from like that one, from that one, uh, you know, basically shot. I got all those medals and all those kills and I got an ordnance drop available. And look, I'm going to do it again. Uh, two shots on this Warthog, uh, double kill, a bunch of other medals. 
Um, so I hope you guys learned a few tips and tricks along the way, but don't tune out just yet. I have one last sniper clip for you. I'm going to let you listen to the announcer call out the play because it's a really great demonstration of anticipation and I just rock this guy. So again, please like, comment, and subscribe. Add this video to your favorites. If you haven't checked out my channel yet, make sure to do so. I have a lot of uh, amazing Halo 4 content there just waiting to be viewed. Halo 4 Tutor, thanks for watching. Enjoy the clip.